Spend the season, we thank the Holy Mother Church because you are given the chance to really contemplate on the meaning of our lives, the meaning of our journey, the meaning of our relationship with one another, our family. Thomas Merton, one of our great mystics in our time, says that the only cure to the angst of modern humanity is contemplation. I remember one text which I received weeks ago which says before everybody had no watch but everybody had time but now everybody has watch but unfortunately nobody has time. I think this message beautifully describes the kind of life we have today. I believe everybody claims or is always complaining why it seems each day passes so fast because everybody seems to be very busy. And therefore, do we really have time to contemplate, to pray meaningfully? And we thanked the Lenten season because this is a wonderful opportunity for us to once again reflect on our lives, on our relationship with others, and more importantly, our relationship with God. That's why if in this Lenten season we cannot feel that the God we believe was crucified for us, gave himself for us and then something is missing in our Lenten journey. If we cannot own that Jesus shared his life for each one of us on the cross, something is wrong with our Lenten journey. And that Jesus when he died, he did not die only for us individually but he died for humanity. And therefore, this brings us to a higher level of our Christian faith, the true essence of our Christian faith, and that is no other than Christian charity or Christian love. That's why I find so much meaning on the message of our Pope Benedict the Sixteen this Lenten season by quoting the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 24, which says, Let us be concerned with one another. Let us encourage one another to respond in love and good works. I believe the Holy Father is leading us to a deeper understanding of our Christian faith, and that is our sensitivity to one another our sense of responsibility toward one another. And it's also the same thinking that Pope Paul VI in his encyclical Populorum Progresso in 1967, when he said that the problem of the world today is not so much the lack of natural resources for humanity, for everybody, but it is the lack of fraternal solidarity. In short, the Pope is right in saying that the world today is indeed marked by individualism or exclusivism. And so, as we look at Jesus who died on the cross, may we come to realize in our contemplation, in our fasting, in our penance, that the Lord is embracing everyone and it is a call for us also to embrace everyone around us. Our family, our friends, the poor, and especially those who are in need of our assistance, those who are in search of meaning in their lives. And so, my brothers and sisters, as we journey in this Lenten season, May we not only offer our sacrifices to the Lord, our offerings to the Lord, but may this be ways for us to unite ourselves with one another. 
This is the call of the moment today. This is the mission we have for one another today. That in the midst of the world that is so divided, that seems everybody is concerned with its own life, his or her own life, the Lord who opened his arms on the cross is telling us, I am for everybody. Let it be for each one of us. May we all look forward, anticipate for a joyful and meaningful Easter and resurrection in our lives. Ito po si Father Samuel Agkarakar sharing the word in other words. God bless.